you know, Giuna Anime Illuminati, he has a really great example of how to do a YouTube properly if you're just going to be streaming, right? Mm. So he takes, like, his highlights and stuff like that from tournaments, right? But, you know, he puts a story or a perspective on it. You know, like, one, he's, like, five-year-old kid takes on greatest DBZ player, you know, or DBFZ player. Um, and I think that's... Oh, like, let's say pulling out highlights from the stream. Yeah, and creating a storyline off it, right? Like, I think he has, like... Sometimes he has players that come from out of the country. You know, you can say Chile's best brawly player plays, you know, Japan's best Goku or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So I think that's that's something that you really got to take into account now nowadays, these days, when you're streaming and trying to put that content over to YouTube, you know. Creating, uh, narr- creating highlights based on and, and telling a narrative. Yeah. With... Uh, with the titles of the yeah. highlights. And the thing is, is some people think like, oh, this takes so long, it'll take forever. But, you know, to be fair, Twitch actually gives you the tools for this, right? You can make highlights out of your stream. Uh, you can make clips out of it. It lets you download it. and it, Or you can even just upload it from Twitch, right? But obviously you might want to download it and chop it. Uh, you can even use your streaming software to record and stream at the same time. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, I mean, if you have the right components, you know, you can do a high-quality recording, high-quality stream. But even if you don't, like we, you know, at least in XSplit, there's an option to kind of basically give you a copy of the stream archive. Mm-hmm. You can chop that up however you want. 